Welcome to Anatomy and Physiology, Chapter 5, Muscular System, Practice Questions. There are 60 questions of multiple choice and images in this video. Let's start. Question 1. What are represented by the letters A, H, and I? A. Motor nerves. B. Myofibrils. C. Muscle bands. D. Sarcomeres. The answer is, B. Myofibrils. Muscle fibers are specialized for contraction. Each muscle fiber is filled with thread-like structures, the myofibrils, which are composed of thick myosin filaments and thin actin filaments. Myosin and actin filaments are organized into repeating units called sarcomeres, which are the basic units of muscle contraction. A. Zeolines. B. Sarcomeres. C. Myofibrils. D. Muscle fibers. The answer is, B. Sarcomeres. A sarcomere is the basic contractile unit of a myocyte, muscle fiber. A sarcomere is composed of two main protein filaments, thin actin and thick myosin filaments, which are the active structures responsible for muscular contraction. What contraction occurs when muscles shorten and thicken? A. Isotonic. B. Isometric. C. Motor. D. Unconscious. The answer is, A. Isotonic. In isotonic contraction, Muscles shorten and thicken as they contract. In isometric contraction, muscle length does not change much but muscle tension may increase greatly. Let's identify some of the muscles in this picture. Let's identify some of the muscles in this picture. Ready? A is the trapezius. B is the deltoid. C is the platysma. D is the latissimus dorsi. E is the rectus abdominis. F is the linea alba. G is the external oblique. H is the gluteus medius. I is the adductor magnus. J is the sartorius. K the quadriceps femoris. L is the patella. M is the tibia. N is gastrocnemius. O is the brachioradialis. And P is the bicep brachii. What contraction occurs when the muscle length does not appreciably change but muscle tension increases? A. Isotonic. B. Hypertonic. C. Isometric. D. Motor. The answer is, C. Isometric. What muscle is the voluntary muscle attached to bones? A. Cardiac. B. Active. C. Skeletal. D. Smooth. The answer is, C. Skeletal. What is a nerve that controls muscle contractions? A. Motor nerve. B. Sensory nerve. C. Nucleus. D. Contractal. The answer is, A. Motor nerve. A muscle that extends the elbow is the? A. Biceps femoris. B. Brachioradialis. C. Triceps brachii. D. Biceps brachii. The answer is, C. Triceps brachii. The triceps brachii is a large, thick muscle on the dorsal part of the upper arm. It often appears in the shape of a horseshoe on the posterior aspect of the arm. The primary function of the triceps is the extension of the elbow joint, a waste product called what? which is produced during the anaerobic metabolism of glucose. A. Actin. B. Lactic acid. C. Creatine. D. Acetylcholine. The answer is, B. Lactic acid. What releases the neurotransmitter acetylcholine? A. Motor neuron. B. Synaptic cleft. C. Action potential. D. Neuromuscular junction. The answer is, A. Motor neuron. About how many skeletal muscles, 
working together, allow us to carry on our daily activities and move effectively through our world? 100, 600, 300, or 900? About 600 muscles. Each muscle fiber is almost filled with thread like structures called what? A. Actin. B. Myofibrils. C. Paramecium. D. Fascicles. The answer is B. Myofibrils. Each muscle is surrounded by a covering of connective tissue called what? A. Paramecium. B. Fibers. C. Epimysium. D. Fascicles. The answer is C. Epimysium. Each skeletal muscle is an organ made up of hundreds, sometimes thousands, of muscle cells, referred to as what? A. Muscle fibers. B. Sarcomeres. C. Fascicles. D. Muscle filaments. The answer is A. Muscle fibers. Even when we are not moving, our muscles are in a state of partial contraction that gives us what? A. Muscle tone. B. Isometric contraction. C. Isotonic contraction. D. Muscle fatigue. The answer is A. Muscle tone. Excess acetylcholine is broken down by an enzyme called what? A. Actin. B. Acetylcholinesterase. C. Myosin. D. ATP. The answer is B. Acetylcholinesterase. Extensions of epimysium form tough cords of connective tissue, the what, that anchor muscle to bones. A. Bone fragments. B. Tendons. C. Fibers. D. Ligaments. The answer is, B. Tendons. In muscle fibers, what has or have many inward extensions that form a set of transverse tubules? A. Fascicles. B. Paramecium. C. Myofibrils. D. Plasma membrane. The answer is D. Plasma membrane. Myofibrils are composed of smaller structures called what that are made of protein threads. A. Filaments. B. Sarcomeres. C. Fibers. D. Paramecium. The answer is A. Filaments. Oxygen debt is paid back during the period of what? A. Rapid breathing. B. Aerobic exercise. C. REM sleep. D. Slow breathing. The answer is A. Rapid breathing. Rapid breathing pays back the what, which is the debt by breaking down lactic acid. A. Oxygen. B. Creatine. C. Glucose. D. Glycogen. The answer is A. Oxygen. Synergists are muscles that a. Contract isometrically. B. Stabilize joints. C. Are responsible for muscle tone. D. Relax when the agonist is contracted. The answer is B. Stabilize joints. What muscle adducts the scapula and rotates it and draws the shoulders upward? A. Trapezius. B. Sternocleidomastoid. C. Pectoralis minor. D. External oblique. The answer is, A. Trapezius. What muscle elevates the upper corners of the mouth? A. Mess eater. B. Orbicularis oculi. C. Zygomatic. D. Frontalis. The answer is, C. Zygomatic. What muscle extends and rotates the thigh laterally and tilts the pelvis? A. Triceps. B. Gluteus maximus. C. Elicus. D. Gracilis. The answer is, B. Gluteus maximus. What muscle flexes the trunk and compresses the abdominal contents? A. Diaphragm. B. Transverse abdominus. C. Rectus abdominus. D. External oblique. The answer is, C. Rectus abdominus. The attachment of the muscle to the less movable bone is called its what? A. Origin B. Antagonist. C. Synergist. D. Insertion. The answer is A. Origin. The attachment of the muscle to the more movable bone is its what? A. Origin. B. Antagonist. 
C. Synergist. D. Insertion. The answer is D. Insertion. The biceps, brachii, and triceps work what to one another? A. Synergistically. B. Isotonically. C. Agonistically. D. Antagonistically. The answer is D. Antagonistically. The biceps brachii, A. Flexes the elbow. B. Rotates the arm medially. C. Flexes the knee. D. Flexes the trunk. The biceps brachii, flexes the elbow. The depletion of ATP results in weaker contractions and what? A. Bone weakness. B. Oxygen debt. C. Decreased muscle tone. D. Muscle fatigue. The answer is, D. Muscle fatigue. The external intercostals are important in? A. Turning the head. B. Isometric exercise. C. Breathing. D. Chewing. The answer is, C. Breathing. The gastrocnemius muscle, A. Abducts the arm. B. Flexes the trunk. C. Flexes the knee. D. Rotates the thigh laterally. The answer is, C. Flexes the knee. The gluteus maximus, A. Stends the leg at the knee. B. Extends and rotates the thigh laterally. C. Flexes the trunk. D. Plantar flexes the foot. The answer is, B. Extends and rotates the thigh laterally. The immediate source of energy for muscle contraction is what? A. Oxygen. B. ATP. C. Lactic acid. D. Glycogen. The answer is, B. ATP. The immediate source of energy for muscle contractions comes from what? A. ATP. B. Glucose. C. Oxygen. D. Lactic acid. The answer is, A. ATP. The masseter muscle, A. Rotates the arm medially. B. Is important in chewing. C. Flexes the knee. D. Abducts the thigh. The answer is, B. Is important in chewing. The masseter is one of the muscles of mastication. It is a powerful superficial quadrangular muscle originating from the zygomatic arch and inserts along the angle and lateral surface of the mandibular ramus. The masseter is primarily responsible for the elevation of the mandible and some protraction of the mandible. The muscle fibers are arranged in bundles known as A. Paramecium B. Fascicles C. Endomysium D. Tendons The answer is B. Fascicles the muscle that contracts to produce a particular action is known as the what? A. Agonist. B. Insertion. C. Antagonist. D. Origin. It's known as A. Agonist. The overlapping of myosin and actin filaments, A. Releases acetylcholine. B. Produces a pattern of bands or striations. C. Stimulates the release of calcium. D releases creatine phosphate. The answer is, B, produces a pattern of bands or striations. Thin filaments, called what filaments, consist of the protein actin. A, fascicle. B, tendon. C, myosin. D, actin. The answer is, D, actin. Now, let's learn the structures of the muscles. We will start with the letter A. Ready? A is the epimysium. B is the paramecium. C is the muscle fascicle. D is the endomysium. E is the muscle cell or muscle fiber. F is the nucleus. G is the mitochondrion. H is the plasma membrane. I is the T-tubule. J is the myofibril. 
K is the Z line. L is the microfilaments. And M is the sarcomere. You also need to know all muscles in the picture. Let's pause the video and learn them. Watch this video again. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share.